Static electricity is often the unwelcome and unintended byproduct of industrial processes. If left unchecked, it can cause issues with product control, dust and shocks to operators, resulting in downtime and loss of revenue. The five main causes of static electricity in industry are friction, contact and separation, rapid heat change, cutting action and induction. Friction occurs when two materials rub together and share electrons. You probably remember sticking a balloon to a wall when you were younger. This is a great example of the effects of friction generated static electricity. Contact and separation creates static in the same way as friction. It is caused when materials are rapidly pulled apart, as in the case of plastic film being pulled off the reel or passing over a roller. The faster this occurs, the greater the charge buildup. Rapid heat change is found in many processes. For example, injection moulding, drying and sealing. When you cut a plastic material or paper, you generate a small static charge. If you do this on an industrial scale, then the charges can be substantial. Think cutting plastic sheets or slitting film at 1000 metres per minute. A lot of static is created. Finally, induction can occur when a person or object is in proximity to a strong electric field, picking up a charge and subsequently earthing in the form of a shock. This happens in hundreds of applications throughout industry where operators are handling or close to statically charged objects. So while these things are often the cause of static electricity, there are also a whole lot of contributing factors that can affect both static generation and the amount of static. Humidity is a big contributor, with static levels significantly higher in drier environments, as is the combination of many charged items, creating what is known as the battery effect. This can be very dangerous and can result in really high voltages being generated. Of course, the type of material being processed will significantly affect the amount of static electricity, and with new materials being developed every day, this represents a significant challenge. Production speeds are also increasing. The higher the speed, the more static is generated. OK, we've covered the what, where and why, so let's talk about how we fix these problems, and I'll try to do it without putting you to sleep and using terms like positive and negative ionic transference. At Fraser Anti-Static, we've been dealing with static electricity for over 20 years, and we've developed a range of world-class products to suit every industry and situation. We consult with businesses all over the world in industries such as printing, converting, plastics, pharmaceutical and rubber manufacturers. We're even working with a team currently trying to break the world land speed record. We have long and short range equipment, blowers, bars, air guns and even some excellent passive solutions including specially designed brushes, copper tinsel and cord. In short, we know what works and we make sure that it works so you can get back to doing exactly what you do best. For more information or to talk to us about an anti-static solution for your business, give us a call, check out the website or send us an email.